Uh, there's so much fun you can do with the footer function. Uh, well, almost everything uh, is possible. So, today we will just talk about short uh, thing about splitting text. And of course, you can split text inside footer function and how you can combine it together with different columns, split it columns, and so forth. Let's see how. Okay, please look at this data. Uh, we have some text and some of it is limited, so it has its hip hand and number. And let's see how we can deal with it. Inside the filter, uh, we'll use these curly brackets as we used to, because this uh, was our best practice. Uh, because we and when we split columns, it is good and you won't break anything, as we talked earlier in our previous video. And next some condition, let it be this greater than, I don't know, greater than 3 will be ok. So I got the columns and I want to split this first. Ok, no problem, just go inside it and use this split formula. Split with this happen. Wow, now it produces 3 columns. But look at that, let's see those 2 Keep hand one. Now it produces three columns, and column number four automatically goes to the end of this table. So this is a funny way to play with your output. And of course, split formula is just a simple formula. When you use it, uh, you can see all the reference for it: text limiter split by each, remove em remove empty text, and uh, you can play with each parameter, so yeah, you can just go with one formula at a time, one split. But it's not that funny. Uh, real fun and real power is in doing array formulas and footer is just great array formula to play with. Because you can easily um, make it lower, for instance here, uh, greater than 3, ok. Uh, this means that this filter will go up down to here and here is nothing. If I test it, I, I add some text and nothing breaks when I add text uh, on the formula, so it will break. So uh, this filter is just great and powerful uh, function which you can build. Uh, you can build uh, multiple reports with, so please uh, go ahead and play with other uh, formulas and insert them inside filter and see what happens. And if you have some insights and if you have some great idea with it, please share it in the comments and I'll add it to my collection of formulas, because now I'm doing a great collection of all interesting formulas. Thank you.